Today we'll be discussing iron condors and how to trade them within Weeble. We're going to start by learning what they are, how they work, and also how to manage them throughout the life of the trade. I've also added my affiliate link for Weeble down below, so if you do decide to open up an account for yourself, using that link will get us both a few shares of stock completely free. But like I said, we're going to be learning about iron condors, which are composed of both a short vertical put spread and a short vertical call spread. It's going to be a directionally neutral trade, mainly benefiting from time decay and from volatility decreasing. Now that probably sounds a little bit confusing, but I promise you it will make a lot more sense after we go through a few examples. So for now, let's go ahead and open up an option chain. Now within Weeble, the option chain can be added to any single screen within here by simply accessing the widgets menu up here in the upper right hand corner. Looks like a little briefcase icon. Then within that menu, that little sub menu down here, and specifically in the quote section, we can find and click on the one marked options. You can see that as soon as I clicked on that, a little option chain window opened up directly in the center of my platform where I can now click and drag that option chain wherever I wanted it on the screen. Now in my case, since I already have an option chain on this platform somewhere else, let me go ahead and get rid of this. Let's just go ahead and remove it and also close out of that little add widgets menu over here on the right. Now that that's done, we can come over here to where I have my option chain and you can see I've got it as a little sub tab right to the right of my charts tab. And by clicking on that, you can now see my option chain right down here below for Google. Starting here on the left hand side, you can actually see a list of all of the expiration dates right here, beginning at the 14th of April of 2023 and going all the way out to 20 June of 2025. To the right of that in the center column, you can also see the number of days until expiration. So in the case of 20 June of 2025, it looks like that is 800 days from today. If we were to come back above and actually click on one of those expiration dates, like in this case, 19 May of 2023, you can then see that opens up a list of the available strikes right here in the center, beginning here at 85 and going all the way out to 130. In order to expand that list out even further and see even further out of the money options, we could come up here to the strikes menu in the upper left hand corner, which is currently marked to 10. And by clicking on that, we can either select in the list below how many strikes we wanted to see, or just type in the number right here. And in my case, I'm going to throw in 14 and hit select. If we were to now look back down below at my option chain and scroll down just a little bit, we can now see a few more strikes have been added. It looks like I can now see out to 75 and all the way up to the 140 strike. If you were to look to the left of those strikes, you can find all the call options. Whereas to the right of those strikes, you can find all the available put options. You might also notice that right up here at the top, it tells us what those columns of information are displaying. So right here, it looks like I currently have the Greeks. Right here, I can see Vega, Theta, Gamma, Delta, and then the current bid and ask of that option right now. This is obviously a lot of information to take in all at once, so it is going to take a little bit of time to get used to it and train your eyes where to look, but this is the option chain on Weeble. Now remembering back in our example today, we wanted to learn how to trade iron condors within here. And within Weeble, that can actually be done two different ways. The very first way is by simply clicking the option you want to begin with. So in our case, so let's just come over here to it looks like the 95 strike put and we'll just begin by clicking on the bid price of $1.26. You'll notice that as soon as I did that, it actually built out an order ticket right down here below to simply sell that $95 put on Google. And if that was all I was doing, I would fill out this order ticket just like normal and hit place order in the lower right. But in our case, since that's not what I wanted to do, I wanted to turn this into an iron condor. We're going to come over here to the left where it currently says strategy, single option. Go ahead and click on that. You'll then see that as soon as I did that, a little menu opened up right above showing us all of the spreads available within Weeple. And right here, you can actually see the one that we want to click on, iron condor. Now by clicking on that, it actually built out the iron condor right down here below and we can see the very top line describes the strategy. So right here it says we're doing an iron condor on Google 
We're going to be using these strikes, 95 by 100 by 105 by 110. We are doing it on the 19 May expiration. We're going to be selling one of them, and it looks like we'll be collecting a total premium of $3.57. Since each option contract represents 100 shares, that actually means that we're going to be collecting $357. Bucks. But let's say you didn't want to use those strike prices, because at the moment, it defaulted to 5 points wide. We can see the difference between each of these legs, and by looking down here below, we can actually see each of the legs specified right here. So leg one, two, three, and four. And we can also see it looks like I'll be selling the $100 put and buying the 95, selling the 105 call, buying the 110 call. And again, if I wanted to adjust that, I could come up here to where it currently says the list of strike prices, and by clicking on that menu, it'll actually open up a list of all of the iron condors that it'll let us create within here. Now at the moment, if you were to look through this list, you can see that each of these strikes are five points further out from the other one. So this one, if I were to click on it, would put on the 100 by 105 by 110 by 115. So again, five points wide. You'll even see down here below, again, five points wide, but this one's using 105 by 110 and 115 by 120. So all it did is go five points even further up. That's all it did. So if you wanted to adjust that, one way to do so is by coming down here below where it currently says five and simply specifying how far out you want this spread to be, how wide you want the legs to be. So if I were to adjust that up to 10 points wide, looking up here, you can now see that each of these iron condors specified has 10 point wide legs. And just for example's sake, let's say I wanted to pick this one right here, the 90 by 100 by 110 by 120. You can then see by clicking on that, we can now see the new trade right down here below, and it looks like if I were to do this one, a 10 point wide iron condor, it looks like I'd be collecting 427 bucks. Now you could of course ask for whatever amount that you want, but 427 is the current price of this iron condor right now. If I were to ask for more than that, there's no guarantee that I'll ever get filled, but I can always ask for it. Now, if you wanted to get even more detailed information, you could also come down here to the graph button in the lower left-hand corner, and here we can actually see the risk profile for this iron condor. So right up here, it tells us each of the legs that we're gonna be putting on. So we're gonna be selling the 100 strike put and selling the 110 strike call, and then up here above, you can actually see the wings, the protection for this iron condor. So we're going to be buying the 120 strike and buying the 90 strike puts as our protection, as our hedge in case Google really does have a big move up or down. But you can see here if it stays within our range, if it stays between 100 and 110, we can actually make this max profit right here of 426 bucks. In the event that we're wrong and Google does move up or down a really large amount, we can see over here our max loss is going to be 573 bucks to the upside or to the downside. And remember, that max loss is going to kick in at our long legs. So we're going to take the max loss on the downside if Google goes below 90 or to the upside if Google were to go above 120. But again, that's going to be the first way that you can create an iron condor within here. The second method, if we were to come over here to the table and delete this one out of here, just go ahead and right click and delete all of them. The second method is by coming up here to the upper left hand corner of the option chain and flipping this over from a single option, meaning all we want to do is buy or sell a single leg at a time, and instead flipping that on over to iron condor right down here below. You can then see what this does is it actually groups out all the potential trades right over here on the left hand side. So all of the potential strike prices right here. And you'll also notice it reverted to that five point wide spread. So right here, 95 by 100, 105 by 110. So in order to adjust that before we even place the trade is by coming up here to where it says with auto and instead flipping that over to Let's say we wanted to do a 10 point wide iron condor. So right here, I'm gonna click on 10 again. You can now see that looking down here below, it gives us those 10 point wide iron condors. So right here at the at the money, we can see 105 by 115 and 125 by 135. You can also see to the right of that what we could expect to receive for selling this iron condor. So before I even do it, I know I'd get about 608 bucks for selling this thing. 
If I instead wanted to pick the 100 by 110s by 120 by 130s, it looks like I'd only be collecting 481 for that one. But again, by simply clicking on that, so clicking on this price, 481, you can now see it builds out that iron condor right down here below for those four legs. And then over here on the right, you could specify exactly how many of these iron condors you wanted to sell, the price you wanted to receive, and then how long you wanted that order good for if it didn't fill today. If you instead wanted to get a more detailed graph of how this trade is going to perform, we could always come down here to the graph button in the lower left. And again, right here we can see our best case and worst case scenarios. We can see that the best case scenario would be if Google were to remain somewhere between 110 and 120, our two short strikes. But in the worst case scenario, if Google were to go below 110 or above 130, our long legs, the absolute most we could lose on this spread is going to be 1530 bucks. The best case, if it were to remain between 110 and 120 is 1470 bucks. But again, those will be the two methods on how to create an iron condor within Webull. And for those of you wondering about manually picking the legs like other platforms like Thinkorswim or Interactive Brokers or pretty much any other platform out there, you can't do it within Webull these legs are going to be automatically selected. So right here where you pick 10 points wide, you might have also noticed that the spread between the short call and the short put is also 10 points wide. And I couldn't adjust that. I couldn't make the spread between the short call and the short put 20 points wide. I couldn't shift this from 110 to 100, but still do a 10 point wide spread here. It actually automatically picks those legs for you, which is really frustrating. Hopefully they change that in the near future because it's the only real downside with Weeble right now. Also, I do want to mention that you don't have to hold these iron condors all the way till expiration. After you've placed the trade and you've put on the iron condor, you can always buy it back whenever you want to. If I originally sold this iron condor for two bucks and I collected $200 for it, and later down the line, like a week later, it's only trading for $100, I could always buy it back and take that $100 of profit off the table. But that really covers just about everything you'll need to know to start trading iron condors within Weeble. Hopefully you now feel at least a little bit more comfortable with the process and how to trade higher condors within here. I know there's a lot I only covered briefly, so if you are looking to learn more, consider checking out this video next. You might find it helpful as well. Otherwise, have a great rest of your week, and I'll see you on the next one.